another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out.
should I go about this? Good. Another step closer to star crazing glass.
recommend. Nah. today.
really just learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all. should I go about this? Sounds interesting. Oh, that's enough training for today. Recommend. No. Find time to try it out. I learned so much today.
just learn that? I guess I am. I'll fight ten. How should I go about this? Sounds interesting. Oh, that's enough training for today. Another new move under my belt. I'll fight ten. Another step closer to star crazing glass great. Let's do this. Recommend. No. I learned so much today. Oh, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. against Scott soon. I'm so nervous. Nervous about what? Dealing with a few IPC minions is just a walk in the park. Oh, but Scott will definitely use the IPC's mechs. There's no way I can take them down with just a couple of swords, right? Masters could handle them for sure. But isn't it asking too much of a poor little rookie like me? Why focus on piercing the armor? For hackers, the ideal way to win is to infiltrate the opponent's system. Here, give me your sword. All right, you've been enhanced. Go for it. You'll understand once the duel begins. So, I can defeat him just like that? Yeah, there's a Sanjo proverb for such an occasion. Know yourself and know your enemy, and you'll never have to sleep in the doghouse. You made up the second half, didn't you? What do you know? Just let sleeping dogs lie. Anyway, now's not the time for discussing Sanjo's sayings. You've got bigger fish to fry. Go and show Scott what you're made of. March 7th, you're late! 
Here I was, thinking you were too chicken to show your face. I was thinking I might have to track you down and settle the score. Too chicken? I was giving you the chance to back out. But you're actually insulting me now, you cheeky. <laughs> I hope your actions are as strong as that mouth of yours. I wonder what Silverwolf did to my sword. Can I really defeat Scott? Don't worry, dear Miss March. Rest assured, we will win. Whoa! Uh, my sword is talking. Greetings, Miss March 7. I am the Tactical AI Chrome, parentheses, Learning Edition, close parentheses. My purpose is to aid you in overcoming adversaries. No, Silver Wolf is not amazing at all. When Silver Wolf installed me into your sword, her terrible wielding skills actually reduced the sword's impact resistance by 12%. But please, don't worry. I'll help you secure the victory, because I actually am amazing. Uh, how exactly are you going to defeat him? Silverwolf has told me, know yourself, and know your enemy, and you'll never have to sleep in the doghouse. The moment your sword touches the enemy mechs, I will upload a small virus onto their operating systems. So go ahead, strike your opponents with your sword. Did I just hear her sword talking? Are my ears playing tricks on me? Uh, hey, take this! Did it work? Operating system reboot. Program failure detected. What's happening? My mech. What did you do to my mech, March? I, I don't know. Higher authority command recognized. Entering combat mode. Now it is time to fight, dear Miss March. Oh no! Boys, they've taken control of our mechs! Get ready for battle! Miss March, I'm begging you! These mechs are cheap! Please don't break them! Sure thing. Provided you do not fight back, the mechs will remain undamaged. <laughs> know yourself and know your enemy. The Specialist Scott, they're controlling our mechs! There's no way we can defeat them! <laughs> if we fought fair and square, you might call this a sparring session. But March 7th, your actions today have blatantly crossed the last line of the law! You injected a virus into the IPC mechs and took control! That's an infringement of the IPC's intellectual property and assets! I'd be more concerned about yourself, Scott. Why were you storing your private data on an IPC computer? Private data? I, I have no idea what you're talking about! <laughs> no idea, huh? I noticed you paid a hefty sum for the end-of-life data deletion service, so I'm guessing there must be something worth seeing. You, 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 stop! Stop right there! That's private! Who told you you can invade my privacy? Just stop it! What were the terms again, March? Scott, you need to immediately apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. You'll need to shout, IPC mechs are a total joke, and print that on every mech on your transport ship. Oh yeah, almost forgot. You have to squeal like a pig. 
That's pretty much the same as barking like a dog, right? <laughs> He's already barked like a dog. Players are bored of it. Let's come up with something new. How about singing the Soul Glad jingle, but with a pig squeal? Sam has been humming that blasted song every day since coming back from Penacony. It's all I can hear. Fine, you've got me. I want to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. It's my fault for causing trouble and making a scene on purpose. And then, uh, uh just wait a second. Uh, oh, how did that stupid song go? Oh, right. IPC mechs are a total joke! Oink, 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 oink! Oink, 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 oink! Oink, 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 oink! Oink, 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 He actually sang it twice. <laughs> Talk about being committed to providing a service. Specialist God! I found something! This woman! She's a Stellaron hunter! What? No wonder she was able to effortlessly hack into our systems! Oops, you caught me. <laughs> Since my cover's blown, it looks like I'll have to resort to social obliteration to keep you quiet. <laughs> the overbearing mech falls in love with me? <laughs> Romance of the inorganic empire? <laughs> wow, your taste in entertainment is really unique. I'm sorry, I, uh, I'll be on my way. Uh, but boss, why don't we take this chance to catch her and claim the reward? Why? Because if you don't leave now, you'll be socially obliterated too! Hold on a sec. Before you leave, let me give you a piece of advice. W what? You should have faith in cloud technology. You just don't get it! Humanity will never feel secure by putting all their faith in an ever-changing network! Oh, this victory has nothing to do with swordplay and everything to do with the power of technology. I've learned another Sanjo saying, Though my hands are empty, my heart wields a blade. So we were wondering if there's anything we can do to help you defeat him. Oh, thanks, Wahwa. You've already been a huge help by teaching me how to use the exercising tools. Even though I've only been learning swordplay for a short time, I'm confident I can take down the IPC next. Uh, don't mention it. It's actually me who should be thanking you, March. But seriously, didn't she kick Scott's butt already? So why is she back again? Don't humans ever learn from their mistakes? No, no, Mr. Tail. There's a saying, revenge is a dish best served cold. But Scott hardly has any patience. He couldn't resist the temptation to get back at us. Still, if that's how I beat him, it'd be a little less satisfying. Hmm, I can't quite put my finger on it. But it just wouldn't be satisfying enough. I get it. Some people never learn, no matter how many times you knock them down. They'll never admit defeat or learn anything. So, uh, how do we get him to admit defeat? Listen, kid, I'm not trying to rag on you, but you're always playing into Scott's hands with your approach. 
He set up these rules for a fight between his mechs and your sword, and you agreed. Then he laid out what to do if you win or lose, and you agreed again. It's basically just another one of Scott's organized sports events, and it's not even fun if you win. Hey, cut it out, kid. Just leave the cool catchphrases to me. I'm a Heliobus, and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Just remove my seal, <laughs> Just possessing him won't be enough. I'm gonna get inside his head. Oh, just wait and see. I'll make Scott change his mind and admit defeat wholeheartedly. What do you say? Oh, you're awesome, Mr. Tail. Well, well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. We're here to fight. What's wrong with you people? Sending me a threatening letter? Who are you trying to scare? A threatening letter? What are you even talking about? Oh, stop playing dumb. Didn't you slip this into my pocket? Uh, Mr. Scott, a great center of arrogance and insolence. You have inflicted your twisted lust for power upon that innocent shop owner and insulted the extraordinary art of Sienjo swordplay. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes in person. The time for change is now. Your twisted desires will be stripped away by us? The writing is terrible. I wouldn't have understood it if you hadn't just read it to me. What the heck did you just say? Hey, who said that? Uh, no, uh, no one said anything. You must have imagined it. Well, enough for chit chat. March 7th, I'm going to make you bark. I didn't even see her draw her sword. Time seemed to freeze, and all I saw was a flash of green fire. In an instant, I remembered staring out at the sea as a child, glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog, which turned out to be the home of that girl, Rakshmi. Seriously, who lights a green lantern in their house? Those guys must be nuts. Ah, why am I suddenly remembering these things? Is my life flashing before my eyes? Am I... dead? Hmm. Looks like this is Scott's mind. I'd better find where his most twisted desires are lurking. each other, Scott? Around seven or eight years? Why? We've been working together for so long, and... I just realized our hometowns are so close to each other. <laughs> talk about a coincidence. Yeah, we never get a chance to talk about this stuff at the office. Oh, I didn't realize Scott was actually a scumbag with a pure heart. All these years, there's something I've been keeping to myself. Too afraid to tell you. You like me, don't you? But why are you being so blunt? Oh, well done, Scott. <laughs> I like your straightforward style. Yeah. I want to be your girlfriend, Scott. <laughs> gotcha, Scott. Ooh, I found your weakness. <laughs> gotcha! Gotcha off guard! Wait, what? what? I recorded everything! You know office romances are strictly forbidden in our department. 
Once I make this recording public, you'll never be able to compete with me for the specialist position. <laughs> what the? Well, <laughs> all right. That's exactly what I love about you, Scott. What the heck? I'll step aside for you. But when the day comes that I surpass you in the same manner, I hope you'll acknowledge my intentions. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm a lone wolf, remember? Oh, he's such a jerk! Is that a wolf? Wait... No, that must be Scott himself! The crown behind him must be his most twisted desire. Oh, finally, I found the depths of your hopeless soul. I'll strip away your twisted desires. Who are you? This is my place. How did you get in here? I can come and go as I please. Do I need your permission? Let me tell you something. In your quest to reach the top, you've trampled over everything that's decent. It's all about success. I'm the pride of the Scott family, a certified lone wolf. I'll do whatever it takes to reach the pinnacle of life. But are you truly happy? You've sacrificed your family, your friends, and your love. All for those meaningless credits. Ask yourself, are you truly happy? Uh, uh, am I happy? Am I truly happy? I... Oh, I'm so happy! I'm ecstatic! You couldn't even begin to imagine how happy I am! Sacrificing my emotions? Ha! What a joke! What good do my emotions do me? Can they turn into a delicious meal or a glass of wine? Can they pilot a starship? Or buy me a mansion? So, answer me this. Do you think anyone would pay credits for my emotions? No way! But I can trade my credits for emotions. With enough credits, I can make anyone my friend! <sighs> This man is truly hopeless. Maybe I need to try a different approach this time. But I'm not about to spend my hard-earned credits on something as pointless as emotions. I'm a lone wolf. A lone wolf from the Scott family. With no enemies or friends. Only prey! <laughs> Bring it on, Scott the Lone Wolf. I'll show you what I'm made of. Step up, let's see it. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> May as well cut. <laughs> Ill fate to say. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> That's half the work. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. In a Relax. Destiny is apparent. Ill tidings met. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Nice, like my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves. Didn't hurt. Free with the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Specialist God! Specialist God! What's the matter? Oh. Specialist Scott, March 7th swung her sword, and something green entered your body. Then you froze and started muttering something. 
Are you okay? Hey! Orange Seventh! What did you do to Specialist God? Me? I didn't do anything. Seriously. Mr. Tail, what... what did you do to Scott? Come on, what are you thinking? I just stripped away his most twisted desire. Watch what's about to happen. <laughs> oh. oh. Scott seems weird. Did you really make him change his ways, Mr. Tail? Well, this is my first time doing something like this, so I'm not sure how things will turn out. You've managed to make a guy like him turn over a new leaf. You're amazing, Mr. Tail. <laughs> I'm even more amazing than you think. Look, it's kicking in now. Oh! Especially Scott, what's wrong with you? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. Specialist Scott, snap out of it! What have you done to him, Mr. Tail? I removed his twisted desires, and now he's genuinely trying to become a lone wolf. <laughs> What would you call it, then? Even a, a feral wolf is better than what he was, right? Ah, don't fight me, Specialist God! Sarcastic with me, huh? <laughs> what are you writing, March? I'm writing a letter to the Astral Express. It's been a while, and I thought I should let them know that I'm safe and sound here. You know that poem from the Sienjo, right? We like March. Her shoes are purple. She is new and high. March, I don't think that poem is about you. Huh? Writing a letter just to let the crew know you're doing all right? Do you guys not have phones? That lacks a sense of propriety. I'm not just writing a letter. I'm writing a handwritten letter. I've got to show them I'm really on the Sien, Joe. You should also tell them about our glorious victory. I didn't skip work to watch you write a letter. Come on. Let's play Celestial Jade together. Hurry up. Hurry up! Just give me a sec. I'll play with you once I'm done. Uh, dear Himeko, Mr. Yang, and Pom Pom, we're all good here on the Sienjo Lafu, so no need to worry. By the way, how's your trip going? So remember to say lots of nice things. 